The Thor franchise is notorious for Chris Hemsworth and his impeccably chiseled body, but over the years it's become increasingly hard for the actor to mold into the form the movie calls for. In this video, we'll talk about how Chris thought it was particularly hard and exhausting to get more jacked for Love and Thunder, and why celebrity transformations can be extremely hard sometimes. So let's get started. First off, Chris Hemsworth says training for Love and Thunder was exhausting, as we all enjoy the fourth installment of the Thor series and got a spectacular view of his Thuti, it seems like behind the scenes wasn't as fun for Chris. It's no secret that Marvel requires its actors to be super fit for the roles. Sure, they got the best stunt crew present on set for those epic action scenes, but sometimes the actors end up doing most of the scenes by themselves. And when you wear tight armors like Thor that fit you like a glove, you almost always need to be in impeccable shape for those washboard abs. At 6'3", Chris is no less than an Australian Adonis. He's literally the only person we can ever imagine playing Thor, and we're not just saying that because of that scene. We know that training for the movies has been incredibly tough for the actor over the years, but after four movies, it seems like Chris is getting tired now. In a recent interview, Chris opened up about how getting even more ripped for the newest Thor film took a toll on him and was extremely challenging. This is the same man who time and time again put on muscle and played the goofy Asgardian as we all know and love. But as he gets older, the muscle memory that once made things easier for him has not been as efficient lately. And now, it's hard for the actor to achieve these unrealistic goals in such a short amount of time. Up next, how hard was his routine this time around? If you're ever on a Marvel marathon and compare Chris's physiques from different movies, you'll notice how big he's become over the years. Of course, there's an incredible amount of exercise and a strict diet involved, but what did it look like? Typically, when actors have to bulk up for a film, they need to consume an incredible amount of food to look jacked. Sure, they might be hitting the gym six days a week, and sometimes twice a day too, but there are times when they have to switch up their diets a bit to get fruitful results. And that's exactly what Chris Hemsworth did for Love and Thunder, a movie that's pivotal to Thor's story in the comics. In one of his Instagram posts, we learn that the actor ate about 10 meals a day, worth 4,500 calories, which, to be honest, is a massive amount of food. In Endgame, we saw that Thor has quite embraced the dad bod life, spending his days playing Fortnite on a couch. But when you need to switch up from dad bod to god bod, you might have to put in extra effort for those muscles to show. His diet mostly included a lot of animal-based products, and actress Tessa Thompson even remembers him eating bison in the morning as breakfast. Although his diet was very meaty, he did avoid eating meat before smooching his on-screen partner Jane Foster to honor Natalie's choice of being a vegan. Coming up, Chris thinks he's now getting old, and training for Thor just hurts more. At 39, the Men in Black actor is still in his prime. But if you keep sizing in and out during the time crunch, you can put your health at significant risk. In the latest installment of Marvel's behind-the-scenes documentary called Assembled, the actor spoke about how hard it's been for him to hit the target weight. One would think it would be easier to gain and shed weight if you've been doing it for years, but honestly, even if you've been doing it for some time now, you're bound to get tired someday. It's like eating the same meal every single day. Sure, at first it seems exciting, but you'll lose interest soon. And remember, Chris ate about 4,500 100 calories over 10 meals for the movie, so it's pretty understandable that it's made him nauseous after some time. Now, we admit that you can train your body to adapt to a certain diet and maybe alter your metabolism to some extent, but that takes time, something Thor doesn't have enough of. Thor's physique has become significantly bulky over the years, and while the Australian thinks his on-screen alter ego has always been a fun exploration, he's not sure if he wants to do it again. He spoke candidly about how the entire training process just drains him now, and even wondered if it had anything to do with his age. Don't worry, Christopher. It's okay if you can't be ripped Thor anymore. We'll take dad bod Thor. Any day, too. Let's talk about how his large form was due to boredom during quarantine. So by now, we guess, no one's been a fan of being quarantined in these past couple of years. What felt like an extended spring break at first quickly turned into a never-ending hostage situation, and we're not going to lie. We thought we'd never see things go back to normal. But while everyone was stuck inside their homes with their families and pets, everyone decided to work on themselves one way or the other. Some took a much-needed rest after working constantly. Others took it as an opportunity opportunity to become more self-aware and delve into new territories, but apparently Chris Hemsworth thought it was the perfect time to outdo previous versions of Thor and become his most ripped version ever. In an interview with USA Today, the actor talked about how he owed a chunk of his transformation to quarantine and sheer boredom during it. All he did during his time off was train, eat, train, eat, with nothing else to do. And that's exactly how he ended up being bigger than he's ever been during the four films of the franchise. While fans appreciated Chris in his muscular form, he also revealed that his wife, Elsa Pataki, wasn't a big fan of his muscular body. Even though most of his male friends hyped over his bulky transformation, his female friends and family didn't think becoming that big was necessary for him. Now that we've seen what Thor's transformation has been like for the franchise, let's move on to some other celebrity fitness transformations. Up first, we've got Matthew McConaughey and his dramatic 
dramatic transformation for Dallas Buyers Club. The Oscar-winning actor needs no introduction. While people remember his heart eyes at Kate Hudson in How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, many fans remember him for his drastic weight loss in Dallas Buyers Club. According to Matthew, he ended up losing 50 pounds for the movie, and to date, he's recovering from severe long-term effects the massive weight shift had on his body. When he signed up for the movie, he knew that he had to make big changes to his physique to deliver the performance of his life. Now, while he was incredibly committed to his craft, he was also pretty militant about himself. To prepare for his role, he lost two and a half pounds per week and relied mostly on tapioca pudding, three egg whites for breakfast, and five ounces of fish and veggies for dinner and lunch respectively. Following up, Josh Peck in his 110-pound weight loss. As an actor on Nickelodeon, Josh was on the heavier side when he acted on the show. His weight was often written into the show as comedic punchlines, which now that we think about it, is pretty screwed up. But over the years, Josh has worked incredibly hard on himself and hired a nutritionist to help him out. His diet wasn't anything special, he just opted for a healthier lifestyle as he went on with his life. His 110-pound weight loss was pretty dramatic, but according to Josh, he lost all the weight because he wanted to, and he just feels better now that he's lighter. Last but not least, let's not forget Adele's epic transformation. The singer debuted her snatched waist on Instagram last year, and the entire world went nuts seeing her dramatic weight loss. While some commented how unhealthily she lost her weight, the Easy On Me singer is actually pretty happy with her transformation. After going through a horrible divorce, Adele focused on herself by cutting down on sugar and generally ate pretty clean. From veggies to lean proteins and complex carbs, her diet included everything nutritious. A guilty pleasure she had to cut from her diet, however, was quitting her tea habit. And as a British woman, we can imagine just how hard it must have been for her. She also credits her weight loss to a cert food diet, which consists mostly of plant-based foods like kale and buckwheat. But no matter how she did it, we're just glad mom is happy. And that's a wrap for this video, guys. What do you think about Thor's transformation? Do you think it's time that Hollywood should stop encouraging such extreme transformations? Let us know in the comments section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Until next time.